It's a brand new year and welcome back to the hottest educational show here in Mzanzi. I'm talking about EduSpace, your career choice. Now, have you ever seen yourself in a position of power like being a manager or even CEO of your very own company? Well, don't touch that dial because Rosebank College will show you exactly how to get there with the Bachelor of Business Administration degree. In case you forgot, my name is Logan Lawson and once again, this is the hottest educational show here in Mzanzi. Please retweet us at Soweto TV channel and don't forget to use the hashtag EduSpace. Share with us your thoughts and your views and what other careers you'd like us to cover. But for now, we're going to the streets to get our five quick facts. Masam Ben. I'm Somelezo Matolo. My name is Tepiso Muloi. I'm Peter Rapapef. I'm Shala Elzamini. I live at Orlando East, 19 Mokki Street. I live at Penville from Deep Loof. And I live at uh, Deep Loof Zone 1. I'm a full of elephants and girls. Attending here at Selekele Secondary School. Can I school on Notre Dame Grade 10? Business administration, it's simply the business management. Uh, it overcomes the aspect of the accounting field and uh, uh, actually, the, the merely owners of the business in the business administration part uh, take decisions on what to do and what not to do in their businesses. That's what I know about business administration. Business administration is management of a business. It includes all aspects of overseeing and supervising business operations and related fields which include accounting, finance and marketing. The administration of a business includes the performance or management of business, operations and decision making, as well as the efficient organization of people and other resources, to direct activities towards common goals and objectives. In general, administration refers to the broader management function, including the associated finance, personnel and MIS services. Business administrator, CEO, general management, Operational management. Business administrators handle the operational, organizational, and managerial responsibilities of a company. They are known by many job titles, including CEO, general manager, and operations manager. Business administration is a highly competitive field. Candidates should possess an MBA to be attractive to employers. In business administration, they teach you communication, leadership. Um, like like manager like financial management and like business operator in case of time challenge like like the ethics how business ethics how the company In general, coursework for a bachelor's of business administration covers management principles and practices such as the following: communication, organizational leadership, resource management, people, money, time strategic planning, business-orientated computer applications, financial management, business ethics. It stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities and dreads. SWOT analysis or SWOT matrix is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats and is a structured planning method that evaluates those four elements of an organization, project or business venture. A SWOT analysis can be carried out for a company, product, place, industry or person. It involves specifying the objectives of the business venture or project and identifying the internal and external factors that are favorable and unfavorable to achieve the objective. You can, be, uh, you can do marketing, you can do a check content and uh, financial marketing, yeah. Graduates with an associate's degree in business qualify for entry-level careers, including basic management and administrative roles in private, public and non-profit organizations. Many find employment as management trainees or managers in the sales or retail industry. Others work as project assistants, office managers and technology-orientated support specialists. Rosebank College is dedicated to providing students with a solid foundation, creating future thinkers to build successful careers. The Independent Institute of Education, also known as IIE, is registered with the Department of Higher Education and Training as a private higher education institution. The IIE is a leading registered provider of private higher education in South Africa. 
the IIE, is also internationally accredited by the British Accreditation Council. Now that we have our five quick facts, let's go to our knowledgeable lecturer and learn a little bit more about business administration. Come with me. Rose Bank College, an educational brand of the Independent Institute of Education and operates from seven registered sites in the following cities, Bramfontein, Polekwane, Pretoria CBD, Pretoria Sunnyside, Peter Maritzburg, Bloemfontein and Durban. Sally, how are you? I'm all right, you I'm not good, thanks, man. Thanks. thanks. Sally, welcome to Edgy Space and thank you so much for having us over. Thank you for having me over. Thank you. Sally, I'm curious to know, what is a Bachelor of Business Administration? Well, the IIE Bachelors of Business Administration, it's one of our three-year uh, general management degrees which actually focuses on business leadership, corporate governance, uh, strategic leadership, which there is quite a shortage in this country when you look at general management as a whole. You said the IIE Bachelor of Business Administration. What is IIE? Well, the IIE is the Independent Institute of Education, which is a registered higher education institution provider, of which we are an educational brand of as Rosebank College. What is the entry requirements for this course? Well, a student just needs to pass the National Senior Certificate with a Bachelor's Degree entrance. And if it's the old senior certificate, they need a matric endorsement onto their certification to actually gain access into this particular program. What modules does this course cover? Well, we look at corporate governance, we look at marketing, finance, human resource management, uh, strategic planning, um, including project management as well. So there's quite a lot um, extensive sort of studies that students will be tested into competency skills and prepared into their life, in the corporate life, basically. And how long does it take to complete this course? Well, the qualification takes three years to complete on a full-time basis. Um, we do offer the qualification on a distance um, education level as well, so people that are working can actually study it. it. That will take a duration of four years to complete. Do you offer postgraduate qualifications to an individual who wants to study further? Well, as Rosemary College, we focus mainly on the undergraduate studies. However, the student can still do postgraduate studies through our Independent Institute of Education. We do have a couple of postgraduate qualifications available for graduates to actually go into. Is the course internationally recognized? As the Independent Institute of Education, we are accredited locally and internationally through the British Accreditation Council. So that makes every one of our single qualifications um, internationally accredited as well. What is the difference between being internationally recognized and being accredited through the British Accreditation Council? You see, qualifications are registered on what we call a national qualification framework, which ours is regulated by the South African Qualifications Authority, of which we've got the accreditation through SACWA for all our qualifications. Now, in addition to that, we went as an institution to get accreditation through the British Accreditation Council. Now, a lot of qualifications will get international, will be internationally recognized. However, they will not have international accreditation, which sets our graduate uh, differently in the industry. By the way, we're the only private institution in South Africa that's got accreditation through the British Accreditation Council. How do students get assessed? Well, students get assessed through various uh, means of assessment. Um, it is a continuous sort of uh, assessment basis, so students will have to submit um, assignments. They will also have to write examinations for each module. If a student's not performing well, do they get excluded or do you have interventions for those kind of students? Well, in our case, we monitor students from the beginning. We've got our academic uh, development coordinators that are looking at it and academically from a campus perspective we do assess students progress and we monitor students and we sometimes have what we call an at-risk student so where we actually see that the student is struggling we come up with in interventions to help the student and get them back on track. So this is done through our lectures um, and the academic body just to make sure that students are getting enough support from the time that they actually study to actually help them and build successful graduates. All in all, business administration seems like a very broad field. How do students decide which sector or field to go into? 
Well, in this case, um, the foundation of the program gives the student a variety and a broader access in terms of marketing, finance, human resource management, economics. Then students, who are, upon completion of the course, they can actually choose in terms of which field they feel more passionate or more aligned to actually take as a career field, or they can actually work as a general manager. Do you place students for work integrated learning? Part of the program where students actually get assessed or evaluated, they've got what we call work integrated um, learning, that's part of their modules and part of that is to take the theoretical element into the classroom, uh, from the classroom environment to put it into practice through simulated projects and ensuring that learners can actually practice what they've learned into a classroom environment, which actually gives them 120 hours per year of practical work experience. So I think the most important question to ask here is how much are the fees per year? We're looking at a program that costs 22,990 per year, which is quite an affordable qualification. There is uh, flexible payment options to this particular qualification where a student can just register from as little as 1,500 rands and you're looking at about 2,220 monthly installments for this particular program. Now, for students who can't really afford that 2,000 rand or more per month, uh, are there financial aid or bursaries available for them? Well, we've aligned ourselves as an institution with all the financial institutions that are involved in student loans, ensuring that students can actually get access into education. Um, we also work together with um, quite a number of uh, bursary organizations whereby students actually can source bursaries and then come through with an approval letter from the bursary organization and the student will be able to study and complete their qualification. Well, Sally, it was lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much for having us over. Great pleasure. Thank you for coming through. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What a mouthful. We definitely unpacked so much about today's episode. But for now, let's go to an ad break. We'll be right back with more Edge Space, your career choice. Welcome back to Edu Space, your career choice. It is now time for us to sit down with our student of the day and find out what she's all about. She has definitely a bright future ahead of her. Let's go check her out. The IIE qualifications offered at Rosebank College have a strong technological focus, enabling students to thrive in today's working world. Rosebank College prides itself on three pillars, affordability, quality education and the IIE graduates that are employable. Hi, Sisonke, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Well, um, welcome to Edu Space and thank you so much for having us over. Thank you for having me. Sisonke, what subjects did you do in high school that you feel contributed to your understanding of this course? Um, I used to work at the call center for Rosebank College. So basically we were selling courses. So I got to know the product knowledge and the courses that are offered at Rosebank College. Then BBA, which is Bachelor of Business Administration, got my attention. Um, I wanted to do more about the course, so I enrolled in it. Sisonke, what subjects did you do in high school that you feel contributed to your understanding of this course? Okay, uh, definitely accounting, economics, and business studies. Why? First year of uh, the, B the BBA, we did accounting, accounting 1A and B. So um, doing accounting in high school, I sort of got like, the basics of accounting. So for me, it was like easy breezy to do accounting and economics as well, because I did economics from grade 10 to grade 12. What kind of assignments have you been given in this course? Um, research assignments, there was a time where I had to actually approach different kinds of personnel. Just to name a few, uh, it was an HR officer for my HR assignment and then I had to approach a marketing manager for my business management and also my marketing assignments as well. Is the course more theory or practical driven? During the first year it is more theory based but now as I get deeper into the course it's becoming more practical. What has been the most challenging and yet most exciting assignment you have had to do? Although I did economics in high school, it would have to be my most challenging assignment. Then the most exciting one, it would be business management. When it comes to interacting with your lecturer, like getting dates or results, how do you go about doing that? Okay, so as students, we have RC Learn. So it's like a portal where we communicate with our lecturers. 
where they post our exam timetables there. We also submit our assignments and also our weekly tasks. So in terms of getting our results, we also have a, a different platform, which is the student portal. Do you get to work on real campaigns with actual clients? Yes, we do. Because as I said, when we had to approach the different kinds of personnel, we basically had to like choose a company, then choose a certain person. For an example, where I had to approach an HR officer. An HR officer, obviously they know the policies of the company, and how they are they are implemented in the business so yeah we do have to to work on the real life campaigns now the real question is do you do mock interviews before leaving rosebank college to prepare yourself for the real world yes definitely so rosebank college has a graduate empowerment pro program which basically equips graduates to prepare them for the field of work now, when you're done with your studies, which sector would you like to specialize in? I'd love to specialize in marketing okay. because it has a strong community of leaders and there are actually a lot of learning opportunities when it comes to marketing. Would you consider working abroad? Yes, given the opportunity for growth, I would definitely grab it with both hands. Why? I'm a person who loves learning new uh, things. So if me going to abroad, learning new cultures, exploring what kind of uh, marketing uh, strategies are there, so I definitely love that. Sisonke, this course is equipped with a lot of modules that will surely get you on the road to success. Is that something you'd like to explore in the future? Yeah. For me, I like, uh, there's nothing more exciting than putting theory into practice. So I'd love to go out there and do my own thing and just be my own person with the courses that, have, uh, that I've done, of course. Well, Sisonke, it was lovely chatting to you. You're an amazing person and you're definitely on the road to success. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Awesome, man. <laughs> well, that is it from our student. Listen, you can do whatever you'd like to do. All you have to do is put in the hours and make sure that the commitment is there. Unfortunately, we have to take an ad break. We'll be right back with more EduSpace, your career choice. Welcome back to EduSpace, your career choice. If you just joined us now, where have you been? You've missed out on a Bachelor of Business Administration lecturer and now student, but you're just in time for us to speak to our professional of the day. Let's go check her out. Rosebank College has successfully placed over 6,300 IIE graduates in employment since 2012. Wanga, welcome to EduSpace and thank you so much for having us over. Thank you. My first question to you is, why did you choose to become a business administrator? Well, I chose to be a business administrator because it's a general qualification and I can venture into different fields with it. What kind of personality would you say one needs to have in a field like this? Well, I can say, say for instance, you choose to go into marketing like I did. You need to be a bubbly person, outgoing, creative and open-minded. And it's very important to be disciplined so that you finish your studies in record time and successfully. You mentioned that the business administration field is vast. How vast is it? Very vast because you get to study modules like HR, finance, marketing, project management. So you really get to learn a lot. Why did you choose the marketing industry? Well, growing up, I would be a person who loves interacting with other people. So with marketing, I get to go out there, meet uh, customers, clients, get to find out what really makes them happy, manage events, which I really love. So, yeah. Do you think as a graduate or as a professional, you need to have a backup plan in case this career doesn't work out for you? Well, with mine, I think you already have a backup plan. You don't even need to study something else. Because with marketing, remember there's finance, there's HR, there's project management. So it, it's really up to you whether you want to go into finance or HR. So, I mean, it sounds like you do so much in a day. What does a day in the life of a business administrator look like? Well, my days are very busy. I get to do a lot of admin work. But besides that, I also 
gives input on a lot of campaigns that we do here in the marketing department and one of the subjects that really helped me a lot was work integrated learning because you get to go out there and learn what it really is that people do in a day-to-day business world so i get to manage projects and manage the budget <laughs> very important and at the end of the day i have to make sure that we do make a profit to keep uh the business sustained are there a lot of job opportunities for business administrators i'm not really sure but i can tell you this i believe that it's very important because you have a lot of fields that you can venture into so there's no company that doesn't have a finance department there's no company that doesn't have the hr department there's no company does that doesn't have administrative department so yeah well my last and final question to you is what is the earning potential when it comes to a field like this well the earning potential remember if you just starting out as a junior you cannot expect to be paid as much as the middle management or the senior management so it depends on your role in the company and your experience but estimately 20,000 30,000 what are we looking at uh, 30 again depends on your role <laughs> well it was lovely chatting to you thank you so much for having us over thank you so much Okay guys, unfortunately we have come to the end of yet another spectacular show of EduSpace, the hottest educational show here in Mzanzi. Please do tweet us at Soweto TV channel and don't forget to use the hashtag EduSpace. Share with us your thoughts and your views and what other careers you'd like us to cover. From me Logan Lawson and the team, it is bye-bye for now. Until next week Monday, same time, same place, EduSpace, your career choice.